YouTube channel. Today we have a very quick Shein haul. Now this is a slight twist. It's a Shein sort of like kitchen organisational haul. There's a couple of random bits in here as well. But if you guys are a little bit like me, you guys see so many different Amazon faves. And whenever I go to click, it's a US creator and it's Amazon.com and not Amazon.co.uk. Obviously I'm a London babe, so... That doesn't work for me. <laughs> so I wanted to see if Shein could offer some of the same things. And turns out they have literally everything you would need. And they also happen to have, I personally think like a little bit of a cheaper price point than Amazon. I think what happens with Amazon is that people find the faves and then they blow up and then the price goes up. I think Shein have kept the prices really, really good. Of course, I've got a discount code, which I'm gonna link in the description box. I'm gonna link all of the pieces that I share with you guys as well. If you guys wanna keep up with my home reno, definitely click the playlist, it'll be above here or here. But that's what's inspired the haul because my most recent project has been the kitchen. So without further ado, I'm looking over there because I've got the items stacked over there. Um, but, or some of them. <laughs> Some of them are on the floor. Anyway, without further ado, let's get straight into items. So the first set of containers that I picked up are these and they are stackable ones. They come in three different sizes. So they come in a small, medium and large. So this is the large and there's two of them. The prices guys are honestly so, so, so good. So the large ones are 6.25 and this is what the large ones look like. And then these are the medium. Again, they're stackable and I have two of them. These ones in terms of price are 4.25 for these and then the small ones i picked up two of those as well and these are only 250 i mean they are pretty small it's so handy that they are stackable um and i have a lot of draw well i have drawers in my kitchen which essentially before i had the kitchen renovated i had quite a lot of drawers like on top of all the cupboards but now all of the drawers are kind of like in one place and the one at the very bottom is quite a deep drawer um so i need to kind of just really be quite specific and really organized with my drawers otherwise they will turn into a mess and they are actually already currently a mess because everything is everywhere and i've had to just place hold stuff but now that i have all of these containers and you guys will see the rest of them in this haul i feel like i'm going to be able to organize way way better so yeah these come in three different sizes these are the medium these are the small and then these ones are the large and i think that these are great i feel like i'm really in my organizational bag at the minute but it's on camera it's one thing but when I'm actually having to do it I'm like I don't know I'm kind of crying inside anyway the next two pieces are actually my fave so one thing I will say about the Shein website is that there's so much there's so much stuff on there I really unlocked a whole new world when I went on there to look for like home organization kitchen organization stuff and I really went down the rabbit hole I'm so so glad that I did I think these containers are my fave so these are the one piece exclusive stackable skincare big organizers so this one is 975 this is what it looks like and then as it said in the title it is stackable but to be honest, I don't know if I will stack them like that just because, that's what they look like. I don't think I will stack them just because, it depends, if they're in the drawer, I don't necessarily need them to stack. I, um, maybe I'll keep these two for the bathroom though. I don't know, because I'm gonna have some shelves in the bathroom in the cupboard. I've already got some, but they just, I don't know, I could do with a few more. Actually, maybe this will do better okay maybe this won't go in the kitchen i think this might be safe for the bathroom but anyway point is 975 these come in just one size a really really great size though really really love these so those are the second out of many containers the next thing i picked out was a spice rack i wasn't quite sure if i was going to have a spice rack or a spice drawer in the end i actually decided to go for a spice drawer which you guys will see in this haul but this is what the spice rack looks like this is in the i think this is the medium size so they have a small medium and large the small one is just one tier the medium is two and then the large is three tiers i think being that this twists and turns I think I might keep this for something else. I don't know, I think this could be really cool for like perfumes. I don't know. I, mm, cause this behind me, this behind me needs a little bit of a clear out. So I think I might end up using this for perfume. Let me just put it together really quickly. Sorry, I had to get it together cause this thing was not staying up, but here's what it looks like. I think I should have got a three tier one, but point I was making is I think it would look really good behind me with some perfumes on because I have too many there, they're not all fitting in. Hold on, let me just show you real quick. So, here's all of my stuff. <laughs> I love these bottles, so I think these would look really nice on here. 
I want the whole collection of these. And then you can just like spin it, add the other ones. What do you guys think? Well, I don't know if you move around and do your makeup like in different parts of your house or flat, you can just have like a quick grab and go you want your skincare I don't know I like this though I think it's really cute but obviously it is intended as a spice rack but I think you can just get so many other uses out of this mm. I'm actually thinking if you guys watched the home reno vlog where I did the walk-in closet I think this would have looked really nice where the sunglasses are but the sunglasses are there now so we kind of have to just stick with it but I really love this I'm gonna see if I can find a space for this in there um, but yeah, this is the <laughs> spice rack. So next up we have this ice cube mold. These are the really big square ice cubes. They did also have the circular ones, but I thought, mm, let's try these out first. Obviously now that the kitchen's done, or at least I'm hoping by the time this video goes live, it's 100% done. We're kind of at that 90% of the way at the moment. Um, I'm really looking forward to creating more food content and drink content so like iced coffees um like my drinks and things like that so i thought this would be a nice little addition and just add a little je ne sais quoi so this is five pounds actually for this huge ice cube next up this is a little random but again one of the things i've seen flying around on the internet and lots of people link the amazon ones the amazon ones are about five times the price the ones on sheen are one pound 25 so I had to grab these. These just go on your wristband so that when you're washing your face and doing your skincare, the water doesn't run all the way down your arms, which always, always, always happens to me. So I feel like these are an absolute godsend. So yeah, £1.25 for these, which I think is such a bargain. So next up, you guys know, if you guys have watched my vlogs or if you keep up with me in general, I'm an absolute like crisp and snack monster. So I picked up four of these. Now these are the well they're actually for the fridge this is the one piece clear food storage box multi-function pet food storage container for fridge organizer um so they have these in small and the medium the small size is this the small yeah this is the small um i have four of them and they're five pounds each now obviously the organization thing got really really big and i'm pretty sure if you go into john lewis and you go into the home edit you're not gonna find these for five pounds let me just get one out to show you properly <laughs> not them jammed chair <laughs> okay fine here's one five pounds and it's a really 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 good size and remember I said this is the small look at this I don't know if I'm going to stick mine in the fridge I actually I actually don't even have my new fridge yet I've got an old fridge which don't sit where the fridge is supposed to go it's all getting a bit annoying but anyway I don't think I'm going to organize my fridge like that because I don't I don't really, I don't want plastic in the fridge. I know that sounds really weird, but um, yeah, I don't know if I'll put them in my fridge, but I know where I definitely will put them, which is in my crisp cupboard. My crisp cupboard is looking a mess at the moment. It needs some organization. My crisp cupboard is actually also gonna be like my snacks and sweets and chocolate cupboard also. So I'm gonna need a little bit of organization. The cupboard is a little bit more deeper than what I'm used to. And then, you know, there's a shelf and I can't really see. Da -da -da -da. So I'm gonna get organized and I'm gonna use these for a fiver. Cannot go wrong, I'm telling you now, go on to Amazon, go on to John Lewis, the home edit, any of them, and they're definitely way more than a fiver. So that's those, and then I also have them in the medium. So the medium ones are not even much more expensive. They're 6 25 for one. Honestly, if you guys are getting into your home organizational bag, you've got to check out Shein because I'm telling you now, they're definitely beating everybody on price. It's stuck. I don't know why I put them in t inside of each other like this. Bloody hell. Okay, here we go. So here is the medium one. This is gonna be for my big packets, Chris, because honestly, you guys, I don't really waste my time with the little multi packs anymore. The multi packs are just like one little drink and it's done. You better just run me the big pack of crisp and let me just eat that in one sitting because that's how it's working these days. But here are the large ones, or the medium ones rather. So they only do them in small and medium. I think large would be cool, but my cupboards are a little bit smaller, so I don't really need the large. This is the medium for reference. And then this is the small for reference. I think these are brilliant, 6.25. So anyway, you guys already know me. I picked up four in the small, <laughs> four in the medium. 
So the next piece that I picked up is a wall mounted sponge drain rack. I picked it up in a black because my sink is black. I think my sink is the favorite thing in the kitchen to be honest, I just love my sink. So I picked this up, I'm gonna slip the little uh, cloth or the sponge in there. It does come with this little sticky thing so you can stick it on the inside of the sink. My sink is quite deep and I'm gonna try and be a little bit of a minimalist queen and like not have too much on the kitchen side. So that includes the sponge. The sponge needs to be in the sink hidden where I can't really see it. So yeah, hopefully this works out and it stays like this sticky adhesive thing stays, but I love this. I think for 150, it's well nice. I mean, it's just a simple little hook, right? But it's matte, it's black. I just, it's perfect for my sink. So yeah, that's the little dish rack. What do I call it? Wall mounted sponge drain rack. I think I should have ordered another one. I should have ordered maybe two, but that's, again, what did I just say a minute ago? I said I'm trying to be minimalist queen, so minimalist queen would only have one. So next up, because the theme in my kitchen is that gray marble and black, matte black, I ordered these plate racks. Now they come in black, they also come in a gray and they come in small and medium. So I wasn't quite sure which one I would need. So they come in black and they come in white. I think these are great because you can stack them. Like I could have got two small and two medium, but here's what they look like. I think you guys probably will have already seen my H&M haul, but I have black plates. So I think these will go quite nicely. I just hope that they fit and they work. So the rack in the small is six pounds and then the medium rack is 750, which I think is such a great price. I really love the image on the website because it just shows them stacked neatly and nicely. I think if anything, I mean, I'm not a person, I don't really want to keep a lot of plates in my house. So um, I have like a dinner set for like, if I have guests over and stuff like that, which I just bought. But by and large, I just kind of want all my things to fit here. I did also find the bowls to them, to them um, black plates that I have, which you guys saw in the H&M haul. So yeah, these I think are really, really cute. They've got like a little silicone thing here so that the plates don't chip, which I think is a nice little attention to detail. And again, because everything is kind of like black, all the accents in the kitchen are black. I thought I'd go with these two. So that's the plate organizers. So the last two things, I actually only have one part of this to show you guys, but I did pick up a clear storage uh, spice rack. So as I was saying, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have a spice like rack in the cupboard, like that oscillating one, which is now apparently just a perfume stand. Um, I wasn't sure if I was gonna do that or if I was gonna have it in the drawer. And in the end, I decided to pop it in the drawer. This unfortunately was a little bit too wide for my drawer. So I ended up having to do it the other way, which kind of works because where I'm standing and I'm from like seasoning food or cooking or whatever, I need it to be that way anyway. I'm not gonna go, anyway, point is, this is 1650 and it comes with four pieces. So it's like three, tears i actually only needed two um i'm trying to be as i said minimalist um so i got this this is the like third like the fourth part because the other three parts are already in the drawer so you guys will see that on the screen anyway i think for 1650 it's not bad i also love the fact that it just makes it neater and easier for you to see the pieces and i'm happy that i've actually gone for a spice drawer rather than a spice cupboard this time around because before in the old kitchen i just used to have them all in the cupboard so yeah it's nice to actually change it up switch it up and put it in the drawer and then <laughs> for my final piece this has been a very clear plastic container um haul but for my final piece i picked up this one piece kitchen clear storage box now this is six pounds it comes in one size the only thing with this is this is quite shallow um and so for six pounds i'm glad i didn't like pick out too too many of these because when you're on the website, it's really difficult. I know they give you the measurements and stuff, but it's still a little bit difficult to kind of picture it. I do think I can probably make use out of these like if I ordered a few more, but in my opinion, I prefer these ones because I think they're a little bit cheaper as well, but I prefer these ones, the small of the other ones. But this is definitely still good. I will 100% still find somewhere for this. I have the pull out things in the cupboards now. I've 100% sacrificed space for convenience. I'll definitely find a little space for this, I think, on the little pull out. This is my last piece. So that completes my Shein home or kitchen slash home organization haul. Comment below, let me know if you guys are gonna be trying out some of their organizational pieces 
pieces. I'm really, really glad that I was able to try these out and show them to you guys because like I was saying before, I was going onto people's TikToks and I was clicking to buy and it's like, no, it's amazon.com. It doesn't ship to London, mate. So I'm really glad that I've been able to find these pieces because no matter where you are, Shein basically ships worldwide. So you should be able to lay your hands on all of these pieces. I've gone through them in chronological order. So as you click the links, it will be in the order that I shared it. Um, and I'll try, I'll try to do like a timestamp on the video as well so that as I'm talking, you can click that link for that time because the website is a lot, there's a lot on there. So if you like specifically what I've shared, I'm gonna try and stamp, time stamp it. So that is it from me. Thank you to the team at Shein for kindly sponsoring this video. Let me know if you wanna see more organizational videos like this. My IG is Raquel.Saul, my TikTok is Raquel Saul. Um, but that's it. Make sure you're following me on the other platforms. I do a little bit of this and a little bit of that on each platform. Everything's a little bit different now. So if you wanna see all my content, be sure to follow me on all the platforms. <laughs> but that's it from me. Thank you to you guys for watching. Thank you to Shein. My discount code will be linked in the description box. That's it, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye.